So you've just installed a fresh install of Windows on your PC. But before you do anything, watch this video and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do before you do anything on your computer. This will one, help improve the performance of your computer, get out every single drop of performance you possibly can, especially if you're on a low end PC out there. And it will make your user experience of Windows so much better than what you get straight out of the box. So if we get switched over to my screen capture here, as you can see, I've just installed a fresh install of Windows 11 on my computer. I've literally just installed this. If we go ahead and go to my system specs here, you'll see what I'm rocking. I've got Intel Core i5-4460 CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, and I've got Intel integrated graphics, which isn't the best for gaming, I know, but that's the whole idea. It's a mid to low end system. So the first thing you do straight away out of Windows 11 is we need to de-bloat it. By default, Windows 11's got tons of pre-installed stuff now i know these are technically shortcuts so for example if i want to open up tiktok not really too sure if i want to but as you can see it just starts downloading so it's not actually installed by default which i guess is kind of good but we don't want these so we're going to get rid of these later on in the video but yeah all these applications that come pre-installed and if we go ahead and press Control shift escape and we go to the processes tab here 127 processes on a stock version of windows 11 now, I know that's not doing too much to the performance of the computer. As you can see, we've only got like a 1%, 2% utilization of our CPU here and not really too much on our RAM either. But if you're on a really low end PC out there, then this will cripple your performance. Everything will feel slow. Applications will take ages to load up. And yeah, it's not good. I've been there. Trust me. So the first thing is startup applications. So yeah, just go ahead and disable all the ones you don't need. So for example, OneDrive, obviously have that disabled. Spotify accidentally installed. So yeah, just disable all the things that you don't want. Stuff like maybe antivirus stuff I'd leave turned on and maybe drivers for peripherals, like I've got a Logitech one here for my mouse. But other than that, disable all the ones you don't need. Your computer will start up a lot quicker. So yeah, if we look at these background processes here, there's quite a lot. Microsoft Edge, which I don't even use. That's always open. We've got loads of other stuff here as well. We've got 86 Windows processes. So yeah, we can do a lot in this video to try and cut these down. But before that, I'm just going to set up Windows 11 how I would normally have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the inevitable. And we're going to hide all these taskbar icons, make our taskbar look a lot cleaner. And we're also going to align it to the left as well. I never really got used to having it in the middle. So you can go ahead and actually uninstall apps through settings here. Just go to installed apps and yeah, it'll all come up here and you can just manually go through and uninstall it. But we've got a script that can do that for us later on in the video. I'd recommend also using a local account if you can. If you've signed in and set up your computer with a Microsoft account, you can actually sign out of it and just use a local account. Also in gaming here, we can go and make sure we've disabled Xbox Game Bar because this really reduces performance when you're gaming. But there is some saving grace and there is game mode, which makes sure you've got on. It should be on by default, but yeah, that will optimize our computer when we're gaming, which is always good to have. And also a given, just make sure you've updated Windows through Windows Update. Make so you've got all the latest drivers and that kind of thing if you're tech savvy you can go to your manufacturer's website and get all your drivers through there otherwise just use windows update or you can even use a program called snappy driver installer which i'll leave in the description all right with that all out the way let's get into the advanced stuff so first of all go ahead and open up your web browser of choice i'm just going to go with google chrome here so the first tool we're going to check out is actually by a guy called x emulated who joined my discord and asked me if i'd check out his tool so it's called x toolbox i'll leave a link to it in the description so yeah this is what it looks like it's pretty cool we've got quite a lot of scripts and stuff here to de-bloat windows which will get rid of all of our like applications and background processes and make windows feel a lot snappier so we've got de-bloating tools we've got tweaks you can also install applications quickly through this script as well and you can also install cleaning and antivirus software so it's pretty good so to go and get it just go to releases here and yeah download xtbox.exe now it will come up with a warning saying it's not commonly downloaded and could could be dangerous but just go ahead and keep it run it as administrator and yeah if it does come up with another warning just run anyway so x toolbox is open source if it gets flagged as malware it's a false positive so yeah just know it's open source and there's nothing to worry trust me guys i look into all of the scripts that i promote on my channel now so hopefully we won't have another windows toolbox situation here 
Anyway, so this is X Toolbox. When you first open it, you might have to type I agree or something. A little disclaimer, I think, pops up. But yeah, this is the menu. It looks pretty cool for a little script. So it's a pretty cool little menu we've got up here, just showing all of our information, which is quite good. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do debloating. Now to debloat, you just type D and whichever number you want to use. I have actually featured home control on my channel before. If you want to check out my video on that, I'll leave that on the top right for you guys to go check out. So we're not going to go into that today. Day. instead we're going to look at shut up 10 which is quite a funny name and even though it was for windows 10 i believe it is for windows 11 now as well so yeah let's type in d and then three for shut up 10 press enter and yeah it's quite a nice user interface you can just go ahead and turn on and off all the stuff relating to things like privacy app privacy so what i'd recommend is just going to actions and then apply only recommended settings it does actually create a system restore point for you, which is really good that that's included. So yeah, just go ahead and press yes to that. And yeah, that'll apply settings. That is pretty much shut up 10. It's quite a powerful piece of software. Right? You can actually disable internet connection to certain applications. And yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this. It's really cool. But if you just want to just quickly optimize your computer, recommended settings and apply them is the way to go. Right, next up, we're going to look at optimizer. So just type in D4. So yeah, this script basically just downloads other scripts. So credit to all of these scripts. And yeah, here's Optimizer. It's a lot like Shut Up 10. You've just got all of your um, switches and stuff here. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to Universal. And yeah, let's just enable all these settings. Why not? Oh, well, it even disables sticky keys. If you guys have been in Minecraft and spam the shift key, sticky keys has come up. So annoying. But yeah, pretty much everything apart from System Restore. I think we'll have turned on. We can also go to Windows 11 here and we can do some Windows 11 specific optimizations. So yeah, let's go ahead and uninstall OneDrive. I don't use it, so yeah. Let's just go ahead and disable that. We can disable automatic updates, which is really good. If you're in the middle of a game or doing something important and then Windows like, yeah, there's an update, restarting now, <laughs> that disables that. So yeah, you can just go through all of this and decide which you want and which you don't want. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've got UWP apps, which is basically the pre-installed apps that come with Windows. We can uninstall them using this script. So yeah, let's go ahead and uninstall some of these. So Microsoft Teams, goodbye. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through all of these and yeah, we'll say goodbye to them. Right, so I just selected all the ones that I want. Press uninstall, give you an overview of all the ones that are going. Press yes and goodbye. So in theory, since these are UWP apps, they should hopefully not come back when we do a Windows update. Hopefully. Yeah, I really like this optimizer program. There's stuff like startup here, so you can do all your startup apps through here. You can install apps through this script as well, which is really good. We've got cleaner here, which is basically just like a glorified C cleaner, obviously without the spyware. So yeah, you can clean up your browser stuff here, temporary files, that's all pretty good. You can do registry tweaks as well, fix registry issues. You can also view your hardware and stuff as well here, your specs. So yeah, I really do like Optimizer, really good. So again, we need to restart to apply these changes. So I'll be back once I've done that. Right, so we're back on my desktop. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at our start menu. So if we go to our apps here, as you can see, so much cleaner. Some of the stuff I did miss like TikTok and stuff. But if you do want to do that, you can just right click uninstall. I did leave stuff like Notepad and Paint and Xbox, Xbox for gaming. And yeah, we can also uninstall Messenger and Instagram. For some reason I missed them. But other than that, that's pretty much all you need really. All right, so we're back on X Toolbox. So yeah, I'm not going to go through every single option in Debloat because there's all different tools. If you want to see, so yeah, they're all pretty similar, really, like Windows 10 Debloater, Optimizer, Home Control has some cool stuff in there, but I've already done a video on that. Stuff in the red that says DNGR, that means danger, which means you could mess up your computer if you do do these things. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty good that it's all kind of included in one script. Nice, easy access to everything. So now we're going to go into tweaks. So I'm going to stay away from post tweaks because that one is in red. So I don't really want to mess up the computer. And I'm sure you guys don't either. Let's just go ahead and type in T2. So I believe this basically just doesn't track your location for the time and stuff in Windows. So you just set up your time zone manually. And then, yeah, you've got all, all kinds of stuff here. You guys can go through and do all this. I'm going to do it all off camera. You can optimize your SSD. You can install Windows 11 Fixer. You can also activate it through here as well, which I personally wouldn't recommend. You can fix drag and drop, which is quite useful to do. And yeah, there's just so much stuff here. I'm just going to go through and do it all off camera. 
Okay, so the next section we have is apps. So you can download and install apps right from this script. So for example, if I want to go ahead and get Firefox, I just type in A3 for Firefox. And yeah, it basically just installs it. And yeah, that's literally just like going online, downloading an installer running it so much quicker though here we go here's firefox ideally what you'd want is to install this script and then without having to go through edge and install chrome and all of that you can do that right from this script so if you had this script on like a usb drive plugged it in and run all these tweaks and installed all your apps through it it'd be really good and it'll probably save you so much time we can also install stuff like rain meter like customizable applications as well as well as web browsers 7-zip I'm just going to go ahead and get memory cleaner. That sounds quite good. So let's go ahead and go with A9, press enter, and that'll install memory cleaner. But as you can see from our downloads here, it basically just pulls it from the internet, downloads it and opens it. So we've got shut up 10 here, optimizer. And for the tweaks, they're simply just batch files. So it just downloads them and they'll just appear in your downloads folder here. So yeah, you can just go ahead and install apps through here. Next up, we're going to look at cleaning. So you can install apps through here as well. AW Cleaner, ATF Cleaner, Malwarebytes, which is a really good antivirus. I'm going to go ahead and get the first one. I haven't actually heard of it, but it'll be interesting to try it out. So let's just go C1 and hopefully it automatically opens. All right, here we go. Adware Cleaner, which is actually by Malwarebytes. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's basically just quickly installed all you need to install really without having to go for any websites, any like sketchy download links or anything like that that are just adverts. Just installs it. Nice and easy. All right, so we're not done just yet. We've got one more to try out. So I've actually done a video on this script before. It's by a YouTuber called Chris Titus Tech. I said Titus in that video and lots of people found that funny. So yeah, we've got his Windows utility here. So to install this, it's a simple PowerShell command. So you just copy this from his website and then yeah, just go ahead and type in PowerShell and make sure you run it as administrator. And then yeah, just copy and paste that command, press enter, and it should automatically open up his toolbox. So a lot has changed since I last did a video on this. So yeah, let's just go ahead and go through it real quick. Like the other script, you can install programs through here. So you can install web browsers, communication stuff, development tools, documents, games, Pro Tools, Windows Tools, Utilities, so many applications you can install right from this script, which is really good. So yeah, Tweaks is where it gets interesting. So there's recommended selections here. We're gonna go with Minimal. So just click on that. That ticks these boxes here. Press Enable. You can also go into MISC Tweaks here. And uh, yeah, you can just simply tick these boxes and run them. So yeah, just go ahead and run those tweaks. And as you can see in the separate PowerShell window here, you can see it doing its thing. So this is quite good compared to the last script where you had to manually select. If you just want all your Microsoft pre-installed apps and bloatware installed, simply just tick the box on this script and it does it all for you. So does Edge still work? I don't think it does. Let's try Edge again. Yep, I think that is a broken shortcut. Yes, we finally removed Edge. So now if we go into our start menu here and go into all apps, look at that, so much cleaner. That is just brilliant. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff in here. You can go through and enable legacy windows panels as well, if you want that. There's so much in this script. I need to do another video on this actually, but yeah, shout out to Chris Titus Tech. I'll leave his links in the description. So also what I've done is I've gone ahead and ticked some more essential tweaks here and ran them. And I made a little mistake. Dark theme is this enable and disable here. It's not for essential tweaks. That was just me being dumb. So that was basically Chris Titus Tech's tool. Pretty good. So yeah, it feels a lot snappier now. Windows is definitely a lot quicker and a lot more optimized. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. I know a lot of you guys like my Windows optimization videos. So I hope this helped you guys out. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, I will see you later. Peace.